Hello and welcome to chapter 62 of the last thoughts of a free, not free, busy mind. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, for those of you who are interested, we are back to recording at like odd hours. I'm recording this at 12.30 a.m. on Friday. So, yay, my sleep schedule is still terrible, which is not good in the coming week. There is a lot I need to do in the coming week. So, first off, let me talk about my doing. And oh, the name of the chapter is 2022 Part 2. It's a continuation of the last chapter. So, you know, do listen to, la to the last one if you haven't. My drink today is a non-alcoholic malt beverage, lemon flavored, because I hate it when there is like the classic flavor. I That's one of the reasons I don't like beer, because I hate that bitter, acrid taste. Anyways, I know this, is, this has a lot of sugar in it, but you know, <laughs> that never stopped me before. Anyways, um, another thing that I need to write down, actually. <laughs> I, I have notes. I have one of the few instances where I have notes, which I had in the last episode, too. I talked about I've been a guest on um, Politically Entertaining uh, with Evolving Randomness by... To by uh, and... Uh, I just realized that my episode, my appearance, has been cut into two. The first part has been published, and you're going to find a link to that in the description of this episode. So there is that. Now, in the last episode, I talk about the chapter 21, 2021, which was uh, my plans for 2021. I talked about what were they. And what happened with most of them? Now, I want to go to the retrospective. In the last episode, I talked about the first one, which is I started a relationship, which was not something I was planning to do, but I did. And I'm glad, I'm, I'm like really glad you can't imagine. I have, uh, I still, I am still in a relationship, so I still haven't fucked it up, but stay tuned on that. We'll see what happens. So, now we're going to talk about the word perspective. Some of the stuff I've talked about in the last episode, so I'm just going to mention them marginally. Uh, but after that, we're going to talk about the plans for 2022, which is, I mean, we're at basically at the end of January right now, so it's all ex exciting. Oh, so retrospective the second thing that happened was that i started guesting on podcasts and it was an incredible experience first of all i was reassured of my accent because i managed to talk with a lot of native english speakers and i realized that no my accent is not as shitty as i thought it was so there is that i realized that as i'm saying that my voice is pretty much trying to imitate jeremy irons but you know that's always been the case and I managed to talk about with a lot of amazing people. Some of them, I I still can't believe how lucky I was to appear on them. Basement Binge, Broken Bulbs, Fancy Bluffer, Crackpot Theories, they were amazing. The Goblin's Corner, which was an amazing experience. Me Fun Magic, all amazing experiences. I do recommend you checking them out. I've talked about them uh, in past episodes. I'm not going to put a link to all of them in the description. I think I should have a website. Maybe I should put that on the plans for 2022, getting a website. Because I uh, I think this would be a good place to put all of this. But we'll get to there. So that was really fun. And then I started my master's degree, which was okay. I, I had a lot of problems in the last weeks with it about the next semester uh i will talk about it in the next episode probably probably not eh, it depends on how it turns out and i finally started my master's degree which is more a reason to get out of conscription or mandatory um military service so a noble cause <laughs> but yeah I, i'm finally studying for my master's in cinema Hopefully, I don't get to finish it in Iran. We'll get to that. Then there was YSEP. Wait, I've seen it before. Which, uh, I'm going to put a link to it in the description. I'm sorry, I need to write it down. 
Um, our newest episode about Free Guy and Ready Player One has been dropped this week, so check it out. Uh, it's a podcast with another one of my friends, Muhammad, and it was it's really fun. Like as much as fun as Yaspers, which is about TV shows and video games, this one is about movies, and I get to talk a lot of stuff that I like about movies. And Muhammad is also an amazing cinephile. And even though we don't always see eye to eye, we and that actually creates some funny moments and some good tension. Um, I I really love I really love when we record. We have fun. We eat stuff. While oh, that reminds me. Let me take a drink. And so it's amazing. I hope this doesn't turn into a three parter. Well, I hope. Then I did my mock IELTS test, which I talked about in the last episode. I did very good. Uh, despite not studying for it, so that gave me a lot of confidence. I started TGTVTI, which I talked about in the last episode, and I started another show called iCrafter, which was about craft, which so far has two episodes. I need to make more. I have a few plans for it. One of them, which we'll talk about in 2022, uh, planning perhaps. Have I wrote it down? I have wrote it down, but... Um, I'll talk about it then, then. But I have started iCrafter. Uh, I will put a link to it in the description. Unless, And if you're watching it on YouTube, watching this on YouTube, it's in the same channel. So go to the channel and you can watch it. We ended work on sand. I shelved sand. I talked about that in the last episode. It's no longer going to be made, at least in the foreseeable future. I started writing another thing. I talked about writing in the last episode that I couldn't write my book, but I started writing a series of short stories that I think are going to be actually fun. It's called The Wondrous History of Monsters and Men. Monsters and Men, obviously, trying to evoke mice and men. And it's uh, it's more uh, satirical than my usual stuff, so I'm going to have fun. I'm going to try some new stuff. I made musicality my documentary. Uh, the final edit is not yet finished. I've done my part, which is editing the whole thing. Now I need to give it to a, a sound mixer because the audio is just terrible. Uh, it's good, but you know it's just an all over the place. It definitely needs an audio mixer. And hopefully a more experienced editor can make something better out of it. I do have a lot of plans for it too in terms of music and maybe some uh, footage, B-roll footage that I need to make. And yes, one last thoughts, which is still going strong, which you're listening to one right now. And I hope you listen to Yasp too. Uh, season 3 might be coming at some unforeseen future. We haven't, we haven't planned it yet. Uh, Amir, if you're listening to this, I'm sorry, I, I know we shouldn't discuss this stuff, but, you know, I'm gonna. So, with that out of the way, that was 2021. That was a memorable year, to say the least. I, there was there were a lot of good movies. The Green Knight came out. And uh, French Dispatch was out, so I had a lot of fun. And, again, I started a relationship. That's, like, the top thing on my retrospective, so... 2021 is definitely a year to remember. But what about 2022? So far, it's been a miserable year. <laughs> we lost so many people. Peter Bogdanovich, Sidney Poitier, Louis Anderson, Bob Saget, even Meat Loaf. Like, people you don't realize how much they mean to you until they're gone. I might do something for my birthday, which is February 28th, for you interested to buy me a gift. <laughs> but... That is just all speculation at this point. I don't want to mention anything. So, what is the plan for 2022? First off, keep on with the current project. Keep on with TGTBTI, The Last Thoughts, YASP, and YC, the big ones. The Last Thoughts will definitely get to the end of Season 5. Whether or not we'll get to the end of Season uh, 6 is still debatable but i'm having a lot of fun and the special chapters are actually really good i might expand on that and do like um its own series um i might i i have no problem i have i don't know 
and um, did I? Uh, so that is that. So this one, a TGTBTI is also in the mix. The new video I recorded the intro for it today, tonight, and it's it's been coming for a long time. But hopefully it will come out in February. I'm just it's just ballooned so much out of control that I don't know what the hell am I doing. But TGTBTI will go on. I have a lot of exciting plans that I hope I get to do. I do have an arbitrary um, goal again for myself, that is to reach perhaps a thousand or oh my god, five hundred subs at the end of the year. I'm I will see how I feel about it at the end of 2022. Right now, I'm not very optimistic, but we'll see how I feel. Yes. We'll go on. Why it will go on? We need to record new episodes. So there is that. Tons of fun. Then, to I need to write a new script and maybe make a movie. I don't want to put the pressure of actually making one because things are very expensive. The budgetary issues with sand are not going to go away. They might get tenfold. But I do have a few ideas that I'm very excited about for script. And I just want to write a new script. And uh, there's a chance that uh, I will make one with my girlfriend. So there's that. I, I love to work together. So we'll see. I don't want to put the pressure on myself. But if I can, I definitely want to make a movie. I finally want to make a movie. It's been, it's, it feels like a curse at this point. <laughs> Three, I'm going to get my actual IELTS. Now that I know that I can get a good grade without studying. And now I'm familiar with the process of it. I think I'm ready to uh, spend the amount of money, which is not uh, insubstantial. It's actually quite a lot of money. <laughs> so I'm ready for that. And for continuing to write fiction. I, I had a lot of fun when I wrote the first uh, short story in The Wondrous History of Monsters and Men. And I want to continue that. Hopefully by the end of 2022, I have like five of those short stories ready. They're quite fun. And I want to have more fun with writing fiction. I don't want to feel like, oh, no, this, this is going to be the book that's going to, this is going to be your American gods. This is going to be the book that changes the history of literature. No, it won't be. Just have fun. It's just something of a mindset that I'm going to talk about probably in this season. The next thing is learning color grading and or audio editing and mixing. This came from 2021 just wholesale into 2022. Hopefully this year I can get a better setup for my editing and then I can actually learn color grading. It's very much in the back burner, but I, I do like to be able to do that, you know, expand my arsenal, if you will. And if I learn audio editing and mixing, it will be perfect for the new podcasts. <laughs> then there is crafting. I want to make uh, a bunch of terrain, I want to do bookbinding, and I want to do some EVA foam weapons. I did my first one in 2021, it was tons of fun, very frustrating, I want to do more. And then there is uh, bookbinding, which I have bought a lot of supplies for, but I never tried. I want to try and I actually want to like bind a couple of, uh, do you remember Musical March in November and Western August in November? I, I the documents for those. I want to be able to like bind them and have a physical copy. Won't be any of any use to anyone but myself, but it will be fun. And train, this is where the eye crafter things come. I want to create a world through my crafting, like imagine a world and then c craft stuff for it. That's like, oh, this is like a, the, the thing that is in my head. This is like a model Zeppelin. Like this is a Zeppelin that the president of this world rides around. The king of this world rides around. It's going to be steampunk probably because I love steampunk. Then there is more podcasts. I talked about one in um, the special episode, the first special episode. They call the Wind Siavash. We're probably going to have that. We're going to have another one that I'm really excited about. It's going to be about James Bond, the first season of it. And this is why I'm watching James Bond. Like, I'm going to James Bond, yeah, to Bonderball, so we're very early in the development, but I'm still excited. Number eight, eating healthier and losing some weight. That rhymed, not on purpose. 
I don't know how much I can stay to this because honestly, one of the reasons I don't eat healthier is because I don't have the capacity to do so, not the mental capacity. So I guess that actually comes to nine, which is going to see a psychoanalyst, a dentist, and keep on with my dermatologist. I went to a dermatologist. Uh, he gave me a bunch of creams and serums and pills and stuff and i'm taking care of my skin hopefully it's going to be better uh, it's a genetic problem it actually uh, one of the reasons the recording of the video has been pushed back because my skin was just terrible for a whole week i need to go to a dentist i need to pull out my wisdom teeth one of them is growing out crooked and it's putting a strain on all of my teeth and i need to go to a psychoanalyst because of course i need to so i guess these two are intertwined because i think if i go to a psychoanalyst and i find the mental capacity to eat healthy i will lose some weight and this is like all a cycle the good thing is and uh i don't know how much of it is practical to say i'm gonna say the good thing is uh, my girlfriend is really doesn't care that i'm overweight so I don't have to fear that. But a part of me is just tired of not being able to do a lot of physical stuff. I want to be able to dance. And right now I do dance horribly. But I want to be able to perhaps pursue that more, not professionally, more gracefully. Yeah, that's the word. Graceful. And that brings us to number 10. You just try to keep on on top of my romantic life. Uh, it's been good. <laughs> it happened out of my... I didn't know it was going to happen. So I'm kind of overwhelmed. I'm trying. I, it's a lot of trial and error. So there is that. And I hope to keep on doing that. Uh, there is going to be turmoil, I know. But my hope is, as my hope with any relationship in life, not just romantic ones, but friendships, just any sort of human interaction is that I don't involuntarily hurt her. I will never hurt her on purpose. Like I will never do that. But I don't want to hurt her at all. And so that is my goal. Um even if we drift apart, even if we break up, I just don't want to hurt her. <laughs> Which I know is a problem that I should tell my psychoanalyst. But you guys are so much cheaper than psychoanalysts. The good thing is with uh, sand shelved, like with sand out of the way, I have a lot of financial freedom now, which I know sounds weird, but I've been hoarding money like a... What sort of creature hoards money? I don't know. I should. It's basically my job as a writer, but I don't know. Pixies? Probably. And uh, now that the sand is shelved, the budget that I was allocating for that is now free. And I get to do a lot of stuff that I wanted to probably go to a psychoanalyst, as I said. Uh, get a new laptop, get some stuff that I've been wanting but put off. Buy some foam, all of that good stuff. So, there is that. <laughs> I'm I'm looking forward to 2022 in a weird way because um as I said this is the plan, this is the ten part plan. I will probably keep this paper, and uh, but if not, I can always listen back. So there is that. I might do a website. By the way, that could put it on eleven. I don't know. Should I? Do tell me. Comment down below if you are listening to this on YouTube. If not, email me at contact a camse eighty eight. A K H A M S E H eighty eight at gmail dot com, and uh, before that put a contact too. I don't have to spell contact, do I? Um, and if none of them works, you can send me a message on Anchor, and your message will be played at the beginning of the next episode, and you might shape a whole episode. So you have all your ways of contacting me. If you know me personally, then you know me personally. So do talk to me that way. Uh, oh, sorry, that was my phone. Perhaps someone I know personally has just contacted me. Time travel. I don't know. I will see you next week with a new episode that is not part of this two-parter. See you.